Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks since I kind of really picked up the camera. Um, I guess it's just been really busy with school. We just registered for classes yesterday um, for our spring term. For winter break, I'm headed to New York and I'm gonna stay there for about three weeks. And then after that, I'm going to go back home to the Bay Area to spend Christmas with my family. And I think this vlog is not necessarily gonna have a theme or a flow. It's really just a bunch of snippets of stuff that I happen to capture at that moment. But yeah, I think the sporadic and the spontaneous nature of my content right now is a reflection of the time that we're in. Yeah, school has been kind of tough, but I think it's really just because of the pandemic. So I've been doing a lot of reading. One of them is called Lumen Nature, Visions of the Abstract in Art and Mathematics by Mathilde Marcoli. And since I studied engineering for the past five years, I've imbued my design work with that. So I don't know, this book is really visualization of a bunch of math and I think it's really beautiful. You know, to you, the viewer, no matter what you're doing, I think this pandemic can be very isolating, obviously, and stunt creative growth and development in whatever we're doing in life. I just find that this is also a very interesting time where we're kind of forced to look inward and what kind of inspiration or motivation can you find? You know, doing kind of deep dives on the internet, playing the piano, and even looking outside my window, I'm really fortunate to have this view of a bunch of buildings and the street below and the Lake Michigan to the right. So I went to the grocery store today to pick up some white shrimp and then I also got some sausage but they didn't have corn which they usually have and I love putting corn in my seafood boil and I have to devein this shrimp which is kind of gross but... I think these have already been deveined at the grocery store but I'm just checking each one to make sure that it's actually clean. I just got this from the freezer. It's the um, leftover seafood sauce from the bag um, and I just poured it into a Ziploc and then froze it. So obviously seafood boil is like a super expensive luxury type meal and I, you know, rarely get it. I like to ask for extra sauce because it's only like $5 over an already expensive bill. <laughs> Another thing that I do when I cook any type of protein in a sauce is I'll actually stop it right before it's done cooking and then I'll let it cool down and finish cooking in the sauce. And that cool down period is important because the proteins contract when it cools down and it takes up the sauce. And voila, we're done. So I just got some new AirPods, um, but I got like the first generation ones because they were a lot cheaper and on sale. Yeah, I've just been kind of familiarizing myself with all of like the tapping features. I also didn't know this, but you could check the charge of them by opening them near your phone.
close of the curtain Stay on the phone We are the monsters Holding you still We are the gallows Up on the tonight's dinner and subsequent leftovers I want to make Julia Child's beef burgundy but I just so happen to have some extra red wine that I'm not drinking and so I think that could be put to good use for this I don't like the uh, texture of mushrooms I don't know why I swapped out white mushrooms for uh, shiitake mushrooms because I don't know they're better and then I'm just going to mince the mushrooms. They still offer some umami flavor, but they're not like, I'm not, I don't have to chew on it. So for recipes that are very intensive like this, I'll actually start in the early afternoon and I'll review the recipe and go over the steps. And this is just to ensure that I'm using my time efficiently. Does anybody know why clothes do this? Because I have like, I just got this shirt and it's already starting to like, do you see that? Another tip is that whenever I cook bacon or something that has to have fat rendered out of it, I always start on um, with a cold pot and then I'll put it in when it's cold so that way there's less splattering. So the good quality salt that I have is in like this very flaky form. So I usually like to take my mortar and pestle and then I'll grind it up into finer bits.
got home from taking a COVID test um, because I'm traveling tomorrow to New York. I'm gonna stay there for a few weeks. Yeah, like if I wanna go out and get groceries or even just walk outside, um, I need to have a negative test result. After Thanksgiving, my school is basically just going completely online for the remainder of the semester until December. We also registered for our spring term classes and I'm very excited for my elective. I had to do a whole application process and get the approval from like three different people in order to even enroll in the class, but uh, I'm very excited about it and I'll tell you more soon.